In this video, I want to go back to talking about the major scale a little bit. Uh, but before I do that, let's talk about something else. As human beings, we have this tendency to, to generalize a lot. Especially in science and math, we, we find patterns and we generalize about them. For example, uh, what, what, and even in everyday life, uh, what does a pelican, a penguin, and uh, a cardinal all have in common? Well, they're all birds, right? And we can generally say, oh, look at that bird in the sky or something like that. We usually say, oh, what, or, um, did you, did you take a plane? Oh, we did, we, we usually don't say, did you take a C-130 or anything like that? We, we say, did you take a plane somewhere? And so as, as human beings, basically the whole idea is that we generalize uh, about a lot of things. And that comes up in music as well. And you'll see that in a little bit. So let's take a look at the C major scale. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And then we go back to C. Right? And... Notice how how did we get the major scale? We got it from these intervals, right? We said that there's a whole step in between the first two notes, okay? And we got and we got it from this whole whole half whole 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 half sequence. Whole 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 half. And it's important to realize that uh, the this sequence this sequence of intervals whole whole half whole 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 half it doesn't change. Because this is how we get a major scale. Okay? And it doesn't matter what we put in as the first note, we will always get a major scale as long as we follow the rules. So, for example, if we took the C out and if we just put in a different note, let's say, let's take G. If we put a G in as the first note, we would get a G major scale. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. And G, and these are the notes in a G major scale. So there's something that they all have in common, and they all have in, what they all have in common is that the intervals in between each of these notes are the same, and that's why we can generally say that it's a major scale. First of all, but we can also generalize something else. We can generalize that, and I'm just gonna rewrite this. Just like how we can generalize that all like a pelican and a blue jay and a cardinal and a penguin, they, what they all have in common is that they're a bird, we can generally say that the first note in a major scale is always going to be a whole step from the second note. And then the third note is always going to be a whole step from the second note. And then the fourth note is going to be always a half step from the third note, and so on and so forth. The fifth note, whole step from the fourth note, sixth note from the fifth note, seventh note, eighth note. And we can generally say that there are seven notes in the major scale and that they have these intervals in between each one. These numbers up here, they are scale degrees and this is what they are called. Scale degrees. And the best way to say it or intuitively say it is that they are degrees of a scale. That's the bet. If you say it like that, I think it makes more sense. They are degrees of the scale. For example, the third of the scale is right there. But if we let's take a C major scale again, and and um, I'll write it above it for you guys. E F G A B C. So the third degree of the C major scale is an E. The fifth degree of the C major scale is G. Now generally we, or most of the time, we leave out the word degree. Uh, we just say the fifth of the C major scale is G. The third of the, of the C major scale is E. But this, all you need to know is that uh, there are these things called scale degrees <clears throat> and we can refer to any major scale any note in a major scale by these numbers so say for instance we had instead of C major scale we had a G major scale up there the same thing would happen oops excuse me <laughs> the 
first note was a G, right? The second note was an A. And so you would automatically say, well, the, f the second of a G major scale, G, A, is A. Okay, that's the second note of the G major scale. And, you know, that's how you can refer to them. But, uh, again, we are generalizing. We are saying that we can put numbers to this major scale. Okay? Now, uh, the reason why we do this is because in upper-level uh, music theory, I, you can say, is, um, is that because you can generalize what a major scale is, these numbers here, you can generally say that this, if you flat the third note of a major scale, what does flat mean? It just means bring it down a hat or a, a semitone. So if you flat this note down, you can get a different note here, and then you would play a different sequence. And then these would change because if you flat this note, if this goes down a semitone, right? If you put this down a semitone, it would get closer to the second note. A half step closer to the second note so this would actually become a half step and then it's going away from the fourth note right because it's going this way so this would become and it's going this way a whole step so a half step plus a half step is a whole step and then it would change the entire sequence down here but uh, you don't have to know that much so far you just need to know that these numbers up here they're just used they're just used to make changes to this general major scale formula down here okay because what you do to these numbers affects what you do to the intervals all right so that's all I wanted to go through in this video hopefully that made sense hopefully I didn't confuse you too much with this um, please comment if you have any questions on it thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video